Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here again in the Cursed Estate and we are ready. We have a full set of level 4s, all very close to leveling up, apart from maybe Victoria. Uh, but we're going to head on out with these guys and see what we can get done. I've trinketed everyone up, I've got everyone ready, and I think I've got a build that should be pretty good. Victoria heading up the lead with the extra repost and extra damage from position 1. I think this is going to really help out with just killing things very quickly. Kuro here is going with the um, accuracy and crit along with a bit of extra damage too. Mainly going to be marking people for Chasey here and stunning things. Uh, Chasey here, she's got the uh, husband's heart for that extra prot just because of her very, very low base HP. And the Elizabeth's head for that extra bleed on hit, which hopefully should work with the demonic leeching. Essentially, we're going to steal damage, stun on marked, but also bleed on everyone. Hoping that works out quite nicely. And then we have Petra here, who's going to be obviously the de bona fide healer with the silver syringe and the last light. Uh, she's got some good stuff going on with her um, with her thingies here, look. So we've, we've got the extra maximum HP. These are pretty bad, I will admit. Chance to refuse healing is pretty bad. But honestly, she's, she's looking pretty good. She's looking pretty good. She's got this, this disease here for that extra 20%. I think she's going to be pretty good to go. Uh, of course, there's a lot of classes that we still haven't used in quite a while. And I do apologize about that, but we're all about at the minute trying to get our level 4s up to level 5. It's less about making sure everyone gets usage time. I'm hoping the accuracy doesn't matter too much here. In fact, we probably want to... I was going to use this here to mark targets, but honestly, with the minus 15 uh, accuracy there, minus 5 from a quirk, minus 10 from disease, and then on top of that, minus 10. <laughs> yeah, it's just... She's the least accurate person ever. So let's go with full heals on her. Um, yeah, and I think this should be a pretty good build. I think I think these guys should work pretty well together. But first of all, we've got some dire entries to go into. There was a few that I missed previously on the uh, last few episodes. So I do apologize about that. First off is the dire entry for Maria, our milkmaid, who we uh, used in the previous episode. I feel strange. My entire being is held together by a force of my will and nothing else. I do not sense wind or heat or cold. I am a statue, filled with crystals, yet I'm also human. I remember the events of the past few months only vaguely, but I know that I need to go towards the hamlet for some reason. So many things changed. So many different weird faces. The graveyard seems to be full of locals. I heard there was an uprising, and I'm still too confused to know what I must do for sure. But I asked the folks if I could give me, give me a chance to go along with them. I do feel that I can help. And that's by Strange Wonder. Thank you for that one. That's great. I like hearing the explanation of what she feels about the fact that she's now this stone structure held together only by the comet's light. Next up, we have another die entry here from um, Blank Gaming for Nick the Jester. I thought I wouldn't live to see the day. I really didn't, but it finally happened. They let me go on an expedition with the others. Who said a fool was no good for dungeon crawling? Because I, I can plan to slice their faces off. <laughs> The expedition went great. Lovely, in fact. Was given some sort of candle. I asked what it was for, but they told me just to carry it. I thought I was just there to, um, there just in case the uh, torch ran out. But I couldn't be more wrong. When I started playing my tunes, encouraging my allies in our first battle, the flame of the candle lit up and something was happening to my tunes. They were healing the damage done to me and my allies. I was quite pleased to be such a help in an adventure, even after all this time. And that exactly is referencing what I was just talking about. Nick hadn't been out in an insanely long time, so I made sure to bring him out. And that last light candle interaction that we had worked out really well. But here we are, we're going into a level 4 mission in the wheel. This will be one of our last level 4 missions. Uh, after this, we're going to have very few level 4s left. So, I'm excited to get out here. Let's go into the wheel and see what we can get done. Grab everything we need. And embark, ready to go. This could be a very, very, very good little, um, very good little expedition here. As well, uh, I do have someone new that's joined the Discord recently that's been helping out with um, different party compositions called Dragon Lord. And one of the ones that he's got prepared for at some point, we'll end up using this, is the Earth, Wind, Fire, and Ice, which is going to be Unknown as Earth, Sabrina as Wind, Ash as Fire, and Rune as Ice. I'm really looking forward to using some of those build ideas. So if people have any compositions that they feel I should try, that they have like names for or just ideas for, please do let me know down in the comments that really useful but anyways let's take our crew and jump on into this and see how we go i'm i'm actually pretty pretty ready for this i, I do think that this crew has what it takes i think that we should be fine here oh my god she has minus 25 percent stress for some reason i don't really know what that's what that's about but i'll take it 
As long as we don't come across any too many hard hitters for Chasey, we should be okay here. We should be okay. We're looking for the three uh, the three infected corpses as well, so this could either be a very long or very short mission. So there's our first hard hitter. Um, and let's see how this works. So, of course, these guys won't bleed, but he did. Nice one. And then that's minus damage on them. We'll set up our repose here because our repose is buffed. And we do get that block, which is very, very useful for us. Um, and... We might as well do this to start getting the prot going with our last light trinket. I think the prot with Chase is going to help out. I think Chase becomes a much better class. Very nice. With the increased prot from that. Um, what's your stun resist? 70%. Yours is only 30. You are much more likely to get stunned here. So let's go for you. There you go. Easy kill there. This guy we definitely want to be stunning. But this, this is going to hurt. Oh, no. We got the dodge. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, and we'll clear you out. Destroyed. Victoria here is going to be an absolute powerhouse, so just be ready for that. She is going to be stomping. Absolutely the stomping. Also, quickens. Petra with the last light trinket for absolutely insane healing. Um, let's mark you. <laughs> we got the mark off. We got the bleed off as well. Really nice to get that extra bit of bleed damage there. Another smackdown coming in. We actually got hit this time. But remember, if Victoria manages to crit, unfortunately very low crit chance. But if she does manage to crit somehow, she um, she can actually get some really good stuff going on. And by the way, another thing that I, uh, that I kind of thought about before this, which is a really nice little synergy. Both Victoria and Kira both get extra damage versus bleeding. So this synergy with Chasey is going to be very, very nice for just getting that extra damage out there. Let's go for the extra stun. Low chance, but we got it. Nice. Um, we're just going to keep going on that bleed. We're going to have to clear out our body here, most likely. The wounds of war Healing. We're going to get a heal for at least eight every single time we use that. Hidden. I don't know. We might, we might be able to pull him here. I'm trying, but he's got pretty high um, move resist, so... Not always going to work, but there you go. We'll clear out our body here because we're going to have to at some point. And this guy should go down relatively quickly. Um, yeah, we'll keep on using this. He just keeps getting bled. And then we're going to be able to do even more damage. And if you have a look now, we're up to 40 prop. Great stuff. And there's that extra damage coming in from that. And then more extra damage here. These two here absolute powerhouses when it comes to hitting people that have bleed on them. Swapping them through around is kind of annoying because we do have a trinket that means we get extra damage in position one. We really don't want that if possible. Hey, we got that stun because you're marked. I'm pretty sure it's a guaranteed stun on marked. So, oh no, it's just 140. It's not guaranteed. It's still very high percentage though. A momentary still very good. And we push forward and take you out. And yeah, this is this is a synergy that I kind of planned out pretty carefully. And we've got to the point now with our with our uh, classes and our trinkets especially, where we can create these hugely powerful, hugely powerful compositions um, that work so well together. And that's always my favorite thing. One of the greatest things about modding in Darkest Dungeon is not only the high quality of the modded classes, like especially these two here, you'd never be able to distinguish them from the base game. They're so good. Um, um, I didn't move. How did that get me? Um, but yeah, it's it's like it's not it's not just the fact that the sprites and their attacks are so their animations and everything are so good to the base game. It's that they've got them synergies and interactions that the base game that the base game plays on quite a lot as well. And we got a surprise there as well, which is really nice. Um, so we start off with this. Oh, that only bled you actually. I mean, th these guys do have higher bleed resist, and surprise, I didn't get you though. Start that going. Sedated. We should be good to go here. We'll set up our repost again. I love the setting up repost here because we always get a mark self and a block, which is very, very good. Uh, I think with this, we probably want to go with incarcerate. And just grab you. Pulling you forward's nice. No stun, unfortunately. But the pull forward's great. And there we go. You made a mistake there. You st stupid hag. Light is, is, is got pretty low. We definitely want to buff that up. But as you can see, the repose damage is just as strong as anything else with this. So we're in a good place from that. There we go. He's respawning someone. We need to get rid of that very quickly. 
Let's go do that now, shall we? Getting rid of some of our moves, as you can see here. Put us out of position again. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. There you go. We got, we got rid of it. That was bad, though. That, that disabled a lot of our moves there. Healing prevented is not good. Um, we do this again. Hey, we got bleeding everyone. Good, good. Yeah, if they could stop moving Victoria out of position, that'd be great. Hopefully this guy doesn't create too many more slimes himself. In fact, I was going to take out him. Mm, we got a miss anyways. I was going to say we want to take out him for that reason. Because this can be very, very problematic for us. Let's keep on the bleed with you. So all of our healing skills are going to be gone for now. Um, no one's stressed out. Let's just try this. I was trying to see if I could get rid of the debuffs, but obviously not. There's that coming in. Good dodge. We needed that. Get that gone. Really? That didn't kill it? Okay. This is this is pretty... Yeah, that's what we didn't want. This is a hard battle right here. This is a hard battle. Confidence we need this guy gone pretty quick, but confidence. we're having to sacrifice that at the moment. Don't do it again. Okay, thank God. And you missed as well, which is even better for us. Um, let's do that. That minus dodge is really nice too here. And there we go. Finally healing everyone back up to full. Was feeling a bit bad, but we got there. And then you go down. Finally. Uh, let's set up our post again. Why not? I could move her into position one to get that extra damage, but it's not worth the turn. Yeah, we've got a lot of these guys coming in, but with the repost here, I'm hoping they aim at her a little more, but they're not going to, are they, of course? We'll see. Just get that prot going. Inspiration and improvement. Hurts a little, but we're good. <laughs> these guys most likely won't bleed, but that's okay. Yeah, that's another thing about this as well that I didn't really mention. Disabling the stress skills is going to mean that our stress is just fine. Fine and dandy. The whole way through As here. The fiend falls, a faint hope Extra damage against marked and a crit as well to top it all off. Results in an instant kill. Hopefully this guy doesn't get another um, another spawn on him. <laughs> We're hoping. He might get one more turn out of him. We don't know. Victoria should be able to end this off, but if she misses, then who knows? We'll see. Okay, no, we're good. Continually onslaught. If an enemy is marked and bleeding, we will annihilate them. Absolutely. They will get demolished. But we, we haven't found any of the um haven't found any of the quest locations yet, so we keep on pushing forward. Oh we got this is actually a pretty good one for us. We should be okay with this. We should be able to get him. That's a pretty big hit to start though. Pretty big hit to start. I'm surprised. Um, I think we just go for the damage here. Um. Hmm. I think we do that on you. Ah, oh, I missed. I, ca I kind of felt like it might, but hey, her. No. Why do they keep pushing Victoria out of position one? Could you just leave her in position one, please? Every single battle so far. My God. And, ne and now he can't use these either. This is really annoying. Like, we, we, we would have easily gotten him. Really? Really? A crit for 13 on you. We would have easily gotten him if that hadn't happened because we could have incarcerated him and pulled him forward and stunned him. But no... It ain't that easy, is it? God damn it. Just stop moving Victoria. You're lowering her damage and stopping Kira from doing what he needs to. It's very, very frustrating. Very, very frustrating indeed. Right. You just go down. This guy's getting away now. I don't I don't even care. Right, you can you can bandage up. Oh, the triple crit. And and the last light can crit as well. That's that's insane. 
God damn, I can't believe they keep moving her. She's got such low move resist. Ow. Always hurts so much. Yo! God damn, your stress went up a lot. I have to get rid of this body before we can do anything to this guy. Got one HP, you kidding? Are you kidding me? Also, how come this guy's bleeding so much? What happened? Does Blanket Fire bleed? No? Hmm. You have been a nuisance, sir. Can't believe you're at 41 stress. When did that happen? Stop bleeding! I don't even know where you got that bleed from. A powerful blow. Right, please, Victoria. Can you stay up front? Can you try your very These hardest to stay up front? Spelled. Like, they what is her move resist? Them. Do we have, like, a massive... No. Her move resist is normal. <laughs> so why is... Why is she so hard found to um, stay in position? One thing I didn't do, by the way, I didn't upgrade a lot of these guys' gear, so there's a good chance that their weapons are underleveled. But it's, it's okay. These guys are doing fine. But yeah, hopefully she stays up front this time so we can actually do what we intend to. We'll see. We shall see. We've got one of our quest locations here and a battle. Everyone's looking good, apart from Petra, actually. Petra's a bit stressed. So you guys aren't going to end up bleeding, are you? So let's just mark you then and get you ready for insane damage. Oh no, mark and bleed. Okay, you are dead. Kira can one-hit you, so let's one-hit this guy. Kira will definitely one-hit this one. The wounds of war Should have stress relief there, really. Would have been a little but more sensible. Hidden. Yes, he didn't do the keenest, keenest assist or whatever it's called. I've never, I can never remember what it's called, but you're dead. Journal page. A trifling victory. All right, then. A victory, the shaman's going a bit crazy. The shaman is going a little bit crazy. Boom. Yeah, that time we got to stay where we need to. And there you go. One of the infected corpses is cured. Oh my god. For how strong this group is, this has been mighty frustrating. That's just the way a darkest dungeon sometimes, isn't it? That's just the way it goes. We push forward until the tasks end. I, I'm kind of betting that this one's going to be the one, that one of the ones that takes us all the way to the end. And I'm, I'm kind of okay with that, honestly. I'll, I'll probably end up doing all the runes nonetheless. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a short one. We'll see how this goes, though. Um, yeah. I'm tempted if we find the graveyard to fight the uh, the Banshee. This, this team could do a decent job of fighting the Banshee. Kind of an annoying team here. I'm just going to go for the kills here, rather than the reverse. A bit more important. We actually got a crit there, somehow, on zero crit chance. Don't give us rabies, please. Don't give anyone rabies, please. Okay, good. Leech the life. Bleed everyone. Lovely. Passion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. More devour. Ow. That's a big devour. You full healed off of that. Um, this is going to kill you, yeah. With the bleed on you. And Victoria's going to slap one of these guys. I'm probably going to go for the guy that's devouring because he can heal up. Even though this guy can give us um, can give us rabies. He's not as annoying as the devourer. But never hidden. Your stress just keeps going up. We need to deal with that. Ow! This guy just critting the hell out of us. And we miss, of course. Stop. <laughs> you go down, doggy. Good. Fifty-three. Stress keeps going up. He's bled as well. We need to cure though. We've got to. I'll deal with it eventually. I mean we can deal with it in camping as well. There's this that. momentum. Push on to the task's end. Good, good. Scouting again. 
the next quest location here. Why are you still bleeding? Nature Stop! Herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Indeed, a victim. Well formed with misintent. Nice bit of extra there. The way yeah. is lit. The path is clear. Okay, we've got one of you again. Definitely want to take your early if we can. The stress is probably going to come in here, so I'm going to disable stress skills. And that bled you as well. That's great. We're gonna, again, we should go for kills here. Pull this guy as, as close forward as possible. There you go. I'm, I'm ready to stress relieve now. Just don't give a... Don't crit us. Thank you. Don't crit us. Thank you. <laughs> so nice when that doesn't crit. <laughs> These guys can crit real hard in the dark. I mean, it's not. I know it's not dark right now, but still. The hex coming out again. It's okay. Steal that damage. And then let's do some stress relief here. That heals us as well, remember. 13, there you go. Great stress relief right there. Take you out. Because he's got no corpses, I don't think he can he can raise that dead thing like normal. We should be okay here. I don't actually know if he needs a corpse to do that, but I'm going to assume he does. Stealing all your damage from you. There we go. Beautiful. Take out this guy. Remind yourself that overconfidence nice one. And then let's, uh, let's camp. Why killer. not? Grab a bite to eat, and let's quickly go over any other diary entries we have. We have one here from Blank Gaming for Sophia the Apostate. While I haven't been out adventuring, I've been mostly decided to study about the parts of the light hidden away from plain sight. Mostly Vestals and other such followers of the light say I'm crazy, and that I'm doing what I'm doing is wrong. But I'm bothered with not um, not such petty distractions. But there is still someone who pleasantly surprised me, an actual skeleton of, of a man named Allure. He very often would want to keep me uh, company while I study, which I did very much appreciate. I don't know if he has a secret motivation or if he is also interested in the other side of the light, but I wouldn't complain about a friend. Oh, that's great. I like that a lot. And then last one here. This is mine uh, for Clint, the bounty hunter. I'm still hearing voices when it sleeps next to me. I still feel its touch in my dreams. Forgive me for my weakness, but I don't know why. Why it's uh, With this, it's hard to survive. Every time I think, I get this feeling, and every time I, th every time I fight, I swear I'm gonna die. I can feel. Can you feel that heart beating fast? I do not want this to last. I need this curse to die. Right. Let's get into our. Um... Ooh, plus ten crits, pretty good. Um, Thirty scouting chance. That's not great. That's all light levels based. We don't need that. Um, that doesn't really help either. Party remove disease. We don't actually need that either because our diseases, we kind of want them. So I'm going to go for this. And I'm going to go for this. And then let's just do that. Pretty happy with that. Let's rest. Let's get ready to head back out again. A blazing star is born. These guys with these buffs should be pretty good. Should be pretty good to go. I missed something back there, apparently. We'll get it on the way back. We're going to have to go back, back that way anyways. That's okay. Dead end that way. Okay, what did we miss here? Oh, the last quest thing. <laughs> I didn't even see that. It's lucky that I, lucky that I remembered to check that. We're going to carry on with this mission. There's a little bit more that we can do here. Three extra rooms. We could end up getting a secret room here. In scouting chances. So I wanna I wanna carry this on just in case. I've decided that I will fight the banshee if it comes up. I think it's worthwhile. Fiend hitter, rather nice. I like to see it. As the light gains purchase. No battle there as well. Not much to see clear. at the back end of the wheel here. Ow. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Okay, we got it. Do that. Last few curios here. A little bit more money gained. Why not? It's always nice to have a little bit extra. In radiance, may we find victory. No more battle there. And one last battle. That's it. That's all we got. 
That's all we got. And we got a surprise as well, so this should be a pretty quick takedown for these guys. I know we haven't used her damage buff, by the way, um, but I'm okay with that. Take you out. Heal everyone up. Stress is looking fine now as well. I might use this last battle actually to do a little bit more stress relief if we can. I don't want to leave this guy for too long though, because it could get out of hand. But there you go. A little bit of stress relief there. <laughs> Pull you forward, hopefully. Right, get one of them bodies out of the way and we should be good to go here. Let's just stun him for now. Ah, he resisted the stun. I don't want him summoned in, but I want to take a little bit extra time to get some more stress relief going. <laughs> There's that bleed. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for the kill. Why not? And then one last curio here. Brought low and driven into the mud. Nothing much for us to see. Stalker. And there you go. Quest complete. Not bad at all. Pretty short one, actually. We, we uh, pushed our way through that very quickly. May yet arrest this plague. Good, good. And yes, everyone got to level five here. That's great. We did get leprosy here, though. Um, yeah, we definitely want to get rid of leprosy. Let's uh, let's get rid of that now, shall we? Let's quickly remove our trinkets. Um, let's have a little look see here. Let's quickly unequip our trinkets and resort them. Uh, and let's go and sort by level. Victoria, let's get rid of that disease for you. Definitely don't want any leprosy. And let's check out what trinkets we've got available to us. Uh, it doesn't look like anything great, to be honest, from my first look here. Uh, I can't see anything amazing. Doesn't look like it. Let's check on these real quick. W once we get up 300,000, I start to look at these a little more, with a little more intent at buying. So let's take a little look. We've got a general one here for plus 15 damage, plus 4 accuracy, but that's plus 20 stress. That's a lot. Um, Mila Vestal right there. That's kind of interesting. In fact, if I have a little look-see here um, and go over to our other Vestal trinkets. Let me just find them real real fast. Where are our other Vestal trinkets? A little bit up here. I've, I've gone past them. Okay, so here, here they are. So we've got this one here. Plus 15% damage for melee skills and 8% crit. And then this would add another 25% damage and 7% crit. Plus 12 accuracy. That's actually kind of interesting. I'm very tempted to take that and uh, and build on that. Let's just qu quickly check where our Vestal sits. Barbara's level 6, so... Uh, probably not someone we want to bring out yet. And we do have Annie at level 5 as well. We could try that out. That could be pretty good. Because if, if we take a little look here, she's got Mace Bash here, um, which is pretty good. Let's check, our, um, check everything on her for now. Let's have a little look-see. Uh, Mace Bash, which is pretty good. Let's let's quickly rearrange these. So, Mace Bash is melee. That's the only melee skill, actually. So, that's the only one that's getting any sort of buff, which is kind of bad, but at the same time, it's not terrible. But it do, I'm going to say, it does mean the rest of her damage skills aren't really going to be great. So I reckon you go like this, this, and then... What else did that add? Let's have a little look-see. 20% debuff skill chance. I mean, it only adds that if we have skills that apply debuffs. So let's have a little look-see. No, we don't. Hmm. That's kind of odd. So I think you go like this. You take all of them off. You go that and that. So Hand of Light is going to be your first move to buff up your damage and accuracy. And Mace Bash is going to be your damage. Then... Divine Comfort, you keep that as a as an extra heal. And then Judgment or Dazzling Light? I'd probably say Judgment is a little better. Let's try this out. Let's let's give this a go. Why not? It's a little bit of money, but hey her. Let's quickly throw these guys back out. Annie, you can come position two and take. Wait a minute, we need to sort by. There you go. Take that. And that. 
The only negative she has is less virtue chance and a little bit more stress, which obviously are pretty bad together. But also she's got Unholy Slayer, which is great for her. Damn, holy shit. She has Fiend Hater and Unholy Slayer. They, we need to lock these in. They're really good because she gets um, extra damage against Unholy with her base skills. That's that's insane. So we definitely want to go up here. So let's go on a medium here, shall we? Let's 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 do let's do a second run here. Let's do a second run. I wasn't planning on it, but let's do a second run. Um, Canis. Ugh. I want to bring out Canis because she needs to level up, but she's very bleed heavy. Um, she's ve yeah, she's very bleed heavy, and she's even got fear of unholy, which isn't great. Ugh. Yeah, I don't really want to bring her out. It's not going to be the greatest idea. Um. Bring out pro oh, protocol won't come with uh with with Annie. Damn. Okay, let me let me try and build something and I'll be right back. Right, I've got a good team together. I've gone for the undead team idea that was posted with a little bit of a change, of course, having the Vestal here. Um We've got a Void Walker. I know he's been out recently, but we need to get him leveled up, so I thought it was a good idea. Um and of course he's gonna be up in the front doing a lot of stunning, but I've just given him sort of damage and crit accuracy that sort of stuff annie of course going to be going on with the full-on damage uh Allo here our black guard mainly going to be healing uh with relinquish uh plus this here the um inexorable and using lifesteal as well just here and there to heal himself up uh, and then of course we have sophia with the last light plus the um the martyr's halo actually because I think that giving him the syringe is better because he's got a direct heal. And then giving the, the Midas Halo here for the plus two additional heal. Um, and then the last light, so we get four healing every time. And whenever we need healing, we can use last rights to get a good heal along with stress healing. I think that's going to be quite good. We're going to be using borrowed time a lot as well for curing blights and bleeds. And then condemn for pulling and uh, damage received, things like that. I think this should be a pretty good build. Uh, we're just going into a medium in, in here. And let's just grab all the stuff we need. This is going to be a fairly quick adventure, but let's just try this out. I'm excited. This is a bit of a different one. I'm excited. I forgot to upgrade our gear again, though. I keep forgetting to do that. There's a very strong possibility that at least one or two of the people in this team have under-leveled gear, uh, meaning that I haven't upgraded it. Uh, so that's a little bit of a problem, but we should be okay. I'll, uh, I'll check on that when we get in there and see if that's actually the case. Um, yeah, so we are missing we are missing level 5 skills and gear on Annie here, which is a bit of a shame. But it's a level 4 quest, so that doesn't bother me too much. Um, and same with Allure, and probably same with Sophia, to be honest. Yeah, same with Sophia. I've not upgraded their gear on any of them. Bit of a shame, but... It's a level 4 quest, so it means it shouldn't actually be that impactful. Uh, explore 90% of rooms here. It means we're going to have to go up this way first. But I actually think that this this team should be very, very competent. I'm hoping, at least. This is a, this is a really cool place to go as well, into the ruins. Oh, and we, we get no one dead to start with. Surprise here is great. I don't know if we're able to get anything going on to start. We'll see. If that stuns him, that's great. Ah, no stun. There you go. He's dead. That's huge damage right there. Huge damage. So... We can... Basically, Sophia, by the way, plus Voidwalker is very, very good. Because as, as his HP gets lower, he does better and better. And she can increase that by giving uh, extra damage. We don't need to do that yet. But I do think a free action will heal everyone for four, yes. Uh, so that's a really good way to, for us to get prot to start with. And because it's a free action that we can do just the once, can't be stacked... Um, then we can just do that. And then we can do that again. This is going to be really good for healing. Tendo into a bona fide healer. Um, let's go for the bleed on you. Nice. Why not? Blank fire. We've uh, experienced this earlier. Blanket fire is going to be annoying, but we should be able to heal through it pretty easily. Punishment coming in. Good thing is, a few of these guys are going to have a really hard time being bled, which is nice. Ooh, that is not good. That's, that must be a quirk. Yeah. Negligent will sometimes attack teammates. We definitely don't want that happening again. Another blanket fire coming in here. This is starting to hurt a little bit. But let's go for that. This should always heal for four. And then sometimes it'll crit as well, which is even better. Um, let's just go smack on you. 16 damage. That's huge for a Vestal. Huge. Punish. That'll give us some self-healing. Or at least can give us some self-healing because of the Mitre's Halo. We didn't end up getting it, but hey-ho. Um... Let's get rid of that corpse and then hurt you guys. 
make this a little bit easier. We got you blighted as well. Blanket fire coming in once again. Blanket fire is such a horrible move. Lowers our dodge every single time it hits us and does pretty widespread damage. We're hoping for stuns here. No stun there. Um, go for the hit again. And let's set up this. Go for that buff. Oh, it looks really cool when he does that. Rain of Whips coming in again. And there's that Restoration coming in. She did get the bleed, so that's kind of annoying, but we can get rid of that. Let's do exactly that. And then Stress Healing plus Actual Healing. Vessel getting that crit is so nice. Nice one, Annie. And Sophia. Nice dodge, everybody. Ah, unfortunate miss there. That's okay, though. We keep buffing everyone's health up. And this last light, it just makes healing so much more tolerable. It's great. Punish coming in. That's okay. Probably got another blanket fire coming in right about now. But you're finished. The beast, the greater the glory. And we're going to get rid of that corpse as well. It's just in the way. It's going to lower our light a little bit. We do get extra bonuses with a low pair darkness as well, so we don't have to... We don't have to go for the um, the light all the time. Ow. One thing I didn't notice here with um, with our Void Walker is he, he is going to be basically just using this because everything else is used from other positions. Uh, we can change that over, though, if we'd like to. Um, we can take that and that. We don't need to take the other ones, really. Uh, I suppose we might as well grab this and this, just in case we get knocked back a little bit. Um... But we need her in this position because... Actually, why do we need her in this position? Oh, uh, it's so we can use Divine Comfort. If we if we don't want to use Divine Comfort, though, we could swap this over and um, give you the ability to do a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if that one's going to be great. Heal 20% maximum HP, minus 40% 8% uh, healing received. That's pretty bad, though. Um, let's just heal you up with some food here. And we will holy water on that. I shouldn't heal you up with food, should I? Because we heal up with this. <laughs> oh, well. It's okay. We'll go all the way around this little square here. But really, all we need from um, all we need from Void Walker is his stun ability, to be honest, right now. We've got healing from the rest of the team, so it doesn't matter too much. And, like... Party comps like this, and especially trinket compositions like this, are what make me are what make me wonder why people use the three trinket mod. Can you stop getting hit, please? Uh, like the three trinket mod is insane for how powerful it could make your classes. Imagine these guys with an extra trinket. It would be absurd. It'd just make the game so easy. And also, could we find some undead at one point, please? Like we 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 are somewhere where we should be finding them. Let's get that going. Four rounds of extra damage. Stun you. Nice. Uh, we're just going to do this for the damage across the board. We'll leave our light what it, uh, uh, what it's at. Go for this. It sets that up for the rest of the battle, but deals no damage, so it's really good. Um, we could condemn here for the extra damage received. Let's, let's condemn. Oh, we missed on you. Hoping we're able to do that. Oh, that's not great. I forgot that that guy can do that. We're getting a lot of blanket fires coming in here. Very annoying. Lots of blanket fires coming in. Really not what I was expecting or hoping for. Light's getting low as well. Let's buff that up a little bit when we can. Can you please stop, guys, for the blanket fires? Our light just keeps getting lower and lower as well. We're going to start getting crit in a moment. Health is getting low on everyone. We should be okay, though. Get you gone, because I don't want you knocking people around. Um, and while you're here, you can heal up. Why not? Blanket fire again. Nice dodge, guys. Coral smash. Probably going to push you back a bit. Okay, we resisted. Nice. Okay, good. Everyone needs that healing. And Annie, you're going to have to stay back there for now. Their formation is broken. Go for that. The I don't know where these guys are getting blighted from. What, what's blighting these guys? Oh, I know what's blighting them now. Um, Alur's got this trinket on. Disease skull. I forgot about that. That's helping out a lot, actually. A lot on a lot with these blanket fires. Every time they blanket fire him, they get blighted for more. 
and they just keep blanket firing. They just can't seem to stop. The will to fight falters. We'll just use this for healing though. And stress relief. Um, and lifesteal for you. Nope, apparently not. These guys are both dead to their blight anyways. But then guys were annoying as hell. Super, super annoying. This Grab all that. Life is taken. Let's hope we actually come across some undead this time. Let's hope. Okay, let's keep on going. Come on now, please. I want to keep our torch going, but I'm not that bothered about keeping it all the way up. And now we get courtyards. So they're back. That's great. This is really not what we want, game. <laughs> I came in here specifically to fight the undead. We still get our buffs from that good. Nice kill. And we're not seeing a single undead yet. Slightly annoying. Um... Hmm. Is this going to be useful? I'm going to do this just for the minus damage. No debuff, though. No debuff. Shame. Um, let's set this up. Extra prot and stuff. We should be good to go here. A little bit of damage coming out on Sophia there, but that's okay. These guys, very high stun resist. Basically impossible for us to stun them, so let's just kill them. That was very low damage there. I was hoping for a bit more than that. Good dodge, though. And we heal up a little bit. It's just lovely that you can make a non-healer class into a healer. Kind of makes them a bit broken, but we're not really using her other abilities. And there's a crit. 14. That's why we wanted that damage reduction. Of course, on the person with the lowest HP as well. You're blighted. You're dead now. Um, let's heal you up a bit. Good. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Let's just go for that. Nice no bit of damage forward. across the board. And finish you off with a nice smack. That's okay. You, you went for the person that can blight you and the person with the most prot, so I'm happy about that. And there's the big heals coming in. Even more stress relief coming on. That's great. We just keep smacking you. Even with your prot, we should be able to fight through you. And we even got the stun there. Lovely. Let's even condemn you. Try and get that lower damage just in case. We got it. And the minus speed as well, which is fantastic. We should be able to kill you before you can do anything now. Being able to clear out those, those bodies like this is so nice. And there you go. Down you go. This party of the undead is working so well. I, I do... One thing that I'm kind of finding quite funny with this... Really, it's trapped. Is that is actually... It's kind of funny that... Um, Annie is all about light and hates working with the undead. And we've just forced her into this situation where it's all of the undead. <laughs> Even the this is like, this is her, her like worst nightmare. Maybe they ambushed her in the Max night and forced, forced her to go out on an adventure to show them that they have some worth. To prove their might and prove that they're not just bags of burns that are useless to her. Perhaps that's what happened. Right, let's keep going. I'm a little worried about our food. Our food's in a pretty bad spot right now. We've not got much of it left and we've got quite far to go. Still got to get up to, I think, this room here. So we've got one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably got six more rooms to go and then obviously the hallways between. So two more food checks could definitely put us in a bad spot. The match is struck. Um, 90% there on Sophia. Born. Nice one. Good, good. I'm going to get some scouting. That's great. Open up a box. A little bit of heirlooms. That's all right. And that as well. But yeah, this is a really fun team. I'm enjoying this team a lot. It's something very, very different. It's not how the classes are meant to be played. We've just changed how they're meant to be played. I like that a lot. We've literally, like, apart from Voidwalker, every class on this comp is going completely against what they normally do. You're going um, full on damage. You're going more working with the light and working just to clear corpses rather than deal damage. And then you're a, you're a main healer, even though you don't have any healing abilities. 
Nice dodge. It's just, I, I like that. It's, 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 it's fun to, to mess around with classes. And again, it's why these modded classes have such diversity and such... They're so fun to play because you can do weird stuff like this and it actually works. As long as you have the trinkets to support it. You can do some really strange stuff. Really? There are so many heckin' traps. Wow. This is the most traps I've ever seen. Also, still yet to see an undead. <laughs> Build specifically for them. Still not seen a single undead. A lot of rooms without battles as well. Oh, don't touch that. God damn it. <laughs> Why? Why'd you have to inhale the foul odors, you stupid? <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Okay, gargoyles have been reworked, so let's see how this works. They're very move heavy now, I think. Oh my god. Big stun there coming out. What's your stun resist? 30. We definitely go for a stun then. We want to take out the ghoul first, I think. Howl coming in for that horror. Returns. Even this empower is going to be problematic. Hit on you, just to buff us up a little bit. Obviously nothing there. This is going to help out if we get low HP. And we heal up some stress as well. Good stuff. Your stun resist is 70, so probably won't get stunned yet. Yeah, I didn't think so. But keeping you stunned's great. Like I said, the gargoyles have been reworked from one of the mods that I'm using. I want to pull you forward, so let's do that. Executed. Great stuff. Now we can kill you with uh, our mace bash. Great stuff. Exactly what I wanted to see. Another howl coming in. Quite a lot of horror on us. We got the worries as well here. Consumes the mind. Um... Let's do that. Really cool, this. You can basically, with that skill, I can now bleed the, the undead. Uh, the unholy, sorry. Bleed, like, unholy enemies, which is great. Wow, this is a lot of horror. This is a lot of horror. No stun. We're going to keep on with the stress relief, but it's going to be difficult. Void Walker is taking a hit. To mobilize here, set ourselves up. We're having a constant battle of raising and lowering the light here. And there you go, Monstrous smack to finish. Has no intrinsic merit. That was a fun fight. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a Okay, virtue. now we got a blood letter. Blanket fire, again, like I said, not too problematic if he hits uh, a low. Shank's gonna hurt. Yeah, no bleed though. And let's have a look at our stun chances here. 70, again, not great, but we'll give it a go nonetheless. Rain of whips, you're going to get blighted. Pretty strong blight as well. A pretty good blight. Set that up. Good damage. We'll set this up. Inspiration there we go. And improvement. 54 stress still with more to come, so that's not great, but hey her. Um, and I think we I think we use this to hit everyone just because we've got some stealth over there. We can at least hit through the stealth this way. Another hit on you. Pretty big hit, so we're getting some good damage now. That is going well, and you're dead. And then you're going to get blighted here. While you're stealth, getting blight blighted is great. Big hits coming. Um, yeah, we definitely just want to go for the AoE heal here. I was debating using some other stuff, but I think that's a lot better for us right now. And yeah, we keep we keep on going with this because this clears the corpse out of the way for us, which we desperately need. You hit a lure again, so you're going down, sir. You're stunned. No, 45%. You still resisted. Oh, huge. Nice one, Annie. Nice one. I think Barbara is going to be a lot less willing to go into full-on combat like Annie is here, but she's been festering at home. She is willing to get in there, do what has to be done. And I'm loving this build. There you go. Void Walker takes it out, finishes off the battle. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They so can that up. Be beaten. Lots of extra money. Nice. 
Can we keep pushing forward? Stop touching things. <laughs> I mean, he got some money out of it, but my God, stop. He is really acting out. Um, I think it's this one. It's these two. They're just both making him act out like crazy. There's our next food. So we're down to 16. We should be fine now, though. And I don't actually think we're going to camp because I doubt Annie wants to sleep with these guys at her side. I think she's already uh, feeling a little pressured and afraid where she is right now. But she's... I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that she's probably... What, out of torches? What the fuck? What, out of torches? No! <laughs> she's probably realizing that these guys in in as bad as she thought in terms of defending the hamlet. Aw, oh, unfortunate. Nice. Condemn you, damn it. Such high dodge. Like, all of you dodged that time. Okay. We're probably gonna get hurt quite a bit here. Blanket fire. Oh, really? Did Allure dodge then? He did. Allure was the only one to dodge. Torch is gonna be a problem now. I didn't realize how low our light was getting here. It's gonna keep getting lowered as well. Why do you always crit? Holy crap. Lightest laps in concentration. This is bad. This is really bad. This, this combat could go the wrong way quite quickly here. Yep. Very quickly. We've got to go for the healing. Please stun. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, you... God damn it. Okay. Get that going. Stop hitting them too, please. We need crits. We need healing crits real bad. This is a very tough composition to fight. You get out of here. I don't care about you. Please stun him. Why is your stun chance so low? It's only 65 resist. Ow. Crits? Why? Why with the crits? I think we have to just heal. It's it's bad, but we need it. Because this, because of this. If we get shanked and crit... Oh, no, we got bled. We got bled. We got a cure. I didn't want to have to do that, but we have to. Keep healing her. We don't need the HP. This is bad, because we're, we're, not, we're not able to get any damage out there. You need to die, sir. Finally getting a crit, but a little late. A little late. We might have to camp, actually. You're gone. Good. Do not crit. Thank God you dodged. Yes. Crit, please. Ah. Okay. Trading HP here. It's working out. Our light level's getting real low, though. I think we're going to have to camp. Health is too low for us not to. Don't hit people, please. There's a huge crit. Oh, my God. Right, what's in this next room? Ooh, a dude tapestry. This, expedition this is not combat, which is good. Success. We, we're going to have to camp. I wasn't going to, but we're going to have to. Oh, good. We're up. It's, it's all over anyways. Um, do we still need to camp? I don't think we do. Let's return to the hamlet. Stress is okay. That was that was a difficult fight at the end the there. A difficult fight. To us. And we will find And Void Walk is at own. level five. Annie and Alert to level six. Good stuff. Good stuff. The Red Plague and the Plight Man's Plight. Pale Man's Plight. Both of those need to go. Both of those gotta go. Good stuff, life, though. I could feel an Sort by level. In the back of my mind. Quickly get rid of our trinkets. A yearning, a thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. And let's go get rid of that. And get rid of that. Okay. That was that was tricky, but hey, her, we, we did it. Revenant, extra damage at death's door. Extra death's blow resist. Extra dodge. Extra stress minus. Eh, we don't really need that. Um, plus four speed on the first round, plus 10 pro 30, move resist, minus two speed, eh, nah, 
We don't need that, do we? Uh, let's quickly check out on these as well. Anything more that we want from this? We could get another crushed hemlock. I'm going to take another crushed hemlock. That could be pretty good. Having two of those on a team. Building up the blight pretty quickly. Uh, and let's quickly check our stagecoach. I don't know. Did we check our stagecoach last um, last mission? I don't think we did, did we? We don't have anyone to bring on anyways, nonetheless. Uh, either way, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. A bit of a double one this time. Bit of a longer one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.